right. Good evening, everybody, and welcome to Build It Through Culture Live. I'm Rob Genovese, along with my culture collaborator, Steph Bellofato. So we're coming at you about every two weeks or so with a brand new episode talking about culture, talking about what you can do to build your organization, your company, your family even, through culture and how culture and core values and your behaviors behind those can add up to a culture that enhances everything you do. It will actually help you build these things in a much more fulfilling way, a lot easier, because when people feel a part of something and they know what that is, and it's a good thing, you're always moving forward. So um, I own a company called Unleash My Beast Brand, and we're a branding and design company. I started that several years ago and um, been in business uh, for about seven years now and never look back. I love the freedom that it provides, uh, flexibility of time, of money, being able to do my own thing, make my own decisions after 25 years in corporate America. And I want to give Steph a chance to introduce herself. Go ahead, Steph. Hey, good evening, everybody. Thanks for being here. I am Stephanie Delafato. Um, I represent Surpro, and we're the local remediation company. We clean up all kinds of disasters that um, you guys don't want to clean up, right? Like fire, water, mold, biohazard, crime scene, vandalism, cleanup. We do it all. And uh, we're so happy you're here with us tonight. So let's see. You put your comments in the chat. Um, hey, Trish. Are you guys listening? Keep your ears open. What song <laughs> is playing? Because we're gonna. All right. Let's see who knows. Here. If anybody knows me, they know I'm, I'm usually picking country songs. So sorry about that. If you don't like country, I love it. But anyway. So hey, Trisha. Hey, Rachel. Hey, Rach. Hey, make <laughs> oh, sure to put the state that you're coming here from. So we want to know. Last episode. We had 10 different states represented. Yeah. So we want to be sure that everybody's state is being represented. So let everybody know where you're coming from. Yeah, we'd love to see that. Thank you, Karen. Good to see you. Culture is hey, key. Karen. Uh, appreciate Karen's in, in human resources uh, to help in companies. So she knows about culture and how that really attributes to a lot of times the success or or not of a company, right? Yeah, so absolutely. That's great. Oh, look, Willie. Hey, Willie. How you doing? Hey, Willie. Good to see you. Thank you for coming by. And Barry. Barry's Barry. Barry, Barry's an ever supporter. Yes. You know, he's always here. Always here. As well as we Mary Ellen. That. Hey, Mary Ellen. Good hey, to Mary see Ellen. Superstars. I don't know about that, but thank you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, Trisha, if you don't know, Trisha's from, from PA. From Pennsylvania. Oh, yes. So we got PA Pennsylvania is in the, in the house. Mary Ellen's from New York. All right. Look at this. Hey Veronica. Ooh, hey Veronica. Missouri, Missouri right. is in the house. Woo woo. All right. Missouri. And Willie, he's from New Jersey. New Jersey. Yep. Represented in the house. New Jersey in the house. And Mr. Lowenthal. <laughs> <laughs> he's already, he's, he's already, already, he's already, already he's, guessing who the secret guest might be. Chaz Wilson, his brother. <laughs> that's <Beach> funny. <laughs> Always good for a joke. Thanks for coming, Rob. Appreciate you. <laughs> And yeah, you're going to be talking about what tonight, Steph? Um, what do you guys think we're going to be talking about? Wow. I think I, you know, listen, I want you guys to put in the chat whatever you think we're talking about tonight. But yeah. I do want to share with you, we did speak, you know, if anybody was at a meeting so far this week, you heard our very own New York, Connecticut regional partner, Miss Tina Campbell, right? She did this week's training tidbit. So, and it was pretty awesome. And of course it was surrounded about culture, right? Yeah. So, you know, I found a couple of quotes when, you know, for my chapter and I, you know, I really think it's key that we, I want to share one of them with you and it's sure. culture. Isn't just one aspect of the game. It is the game. In the end, an organization is nothing more than the collective capacity of its people to create value. And that was from Lou Gerstner Jr. from IBM. That's a quote from him. That, that's, um, a, that's a great quote. I love that. It is the game. It is the game, right? So for you and I, people, Rob, like that just feeds our soul, right? <laughs> yeah, because I think a lot of companies, a lot of people think like culture is that thing on the side or it's that ancillary thing that you have or you don't have and that it's kind of woo-woo in a way 
Well, yeah. you know, a culture. And and yes, you know, Steph is famous for saying it's always how you make people feel. And it is how you make people feel. So very simplified. That's what it is. So what you do, how you make them feel intentionally. Do you make people feel welcome into your organization, into your company, yeah. into your chapter? You know, yeah. how do they feel? Do they feel important? Do they feel valued? And all these are the aspects of culture. But that's like you said, it is the game. In fact, that's the whole thing. Because once you have that in place, you can get anything done. Absolutely. You know, it's funny. My son just started a new job this week and he had several interviews and the owner of the company was asking him about culture. And he came home from that interview and he was like, mom, it, he's like, you talk about this all the time. So when he asked me these questions, my son then said, okay, so what are your core values? Ooh, right? look at that. So, you know, and, and do they align? And, and the boss was like, you know, it's about family. It's about, we want you to want to be here. He said all the right things. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. and so far, you know, he's, he's thriving there. He's, you know, he says all, everybody's friendly and it's a great environment and they're, they're having fun. Right. And that's what we do here in master networks. We're networking, but guess what? We have fun. Always have to. In fact, that's what that's my sixth core value. You know, the Master Network's core values will we'll should put up there in a second. Uh, but my sixth one is always have fun. Hey, Justin, thanks for coming. Uh, hey, Justin. Know, that that whole idea of he said, you know, we're all about family, and he started to state them. But here's what we know about culture. That was one person saying that. But I wonder if your son went around to each employee and asked the and employee, asked them, what's the culture here? I don't know if you'd get all the same answers, right? Because then it's each person contributes to the culture that they want to set forward. So unless they put out there those core values and the expectations behind it, as far as your behaviors, it's hard to create a culture through osmosis. <laughs> right, right. Hey, you and know Michael, what? While I'm thinking of it, guys, please do us a favor and share this to your page because again, you know, we want to spread this out to other people that may not be part of Master Networks. And let's give them a little taste of what we're like here. And who knows, maybe it'll inspire someone to reach out to us to come to one of our meetings. Yeah, absolutely. And yeah, Willie says, yes, culture is essential to making others feel welcome. Yeah. That, that That's it for, you know, a new person coming in. So your son going in there, potentially wanting to work there. Did he feel welcome? You know, if he comes in and he meets the people and, you know, they all kind of just look right through him and look past him, you know, you don't get a welcome feeling. How do you walk away from that? You're going, this doesn't feel right. 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 Absolutely. Hey, Mamie. Where are you hey, from, Mamie? Mamie? That's that. That's here. That's Willie's beautiful wife. Oh, my gosh. I should have looked at the right last name. I'm so <laughs> sorry, Willie and Mamie. <laughs> I didn't realize. And actually, I met Mamie for a brief second at the golf outing last year. Um, but talk about a sharp looking couple. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my God. Oh, <laughs> my <Sharp> God. <laughs> beautiful couple. What a beautiful yeah. couple. OK, what does Rob say? In every interview, tell them you'll give 110 percent unless you're applying as a statistician. <laughs> In which case, not possible. So right, right. <laughs> Good point. Good point, Rob. Thank That's you for funny. thank you for perspective. <laughs> so we're going to be talking tonight on a certain topic in culture, and you know, as Steph, we plan about you know every week we get together and we talk about you know future episodes of Build It Through Culture Live, and what are we going to talk about that's going to add a little bit more perspective to this culture thing, because you know as we set out. We talked about some of the things that set it up. You know, it's it's the core values, and inside Master Networks, we have the five core values. And um, let's just let's just rip right through them, Steph, so we can get to today. Okay, topic. let's rip right through them. But let's let's. I want to just remind everybody again. I want you guys to put in the chat what you think we might be talking about tonight. Hmm. So, if you have an idea of what we might be talking about tonight, please put it in the chat. Yeah. And if you if you've just come in, you've just joined us, tell us what state you're from. We'd love to hear where everybody's coming from. Last episode, we had 10 states represented across the country and we'd love to have more. So all 50 ideally. Right. Yeah, so, that would be first, wonderful. Right. First core value relationships. First and foremost, 
first and foremost. It's all everything. about relationships. Oh, so today I was in a chapter meeting and, you know, even though you and I talk about this and, you know, I would never say I'm the expert at anything, but, you know, we do, we do know a good deal about this in talking with a lot of people in building our businesses, building our chapters, building our networks with culture, infusing culture, being very intentional. We do have a good understanding of it, but today somebody said something in a chapter meeting that really made me go, huh, I never really thought about it precisely from that perspective. And they said, you people have values, but when you have core values, core values are non-negotiable, as in if one of them is violated in the relationship with somebody else, if somebody else violates your core value in the relationship, relationship is done. And I don't mean cut them out of your lives forever. I mean, this was in the context of a business relationship. So in other words, the client, you fire the client. Right. Because right. it went against his core value. And he said, we, we can't do business together. And I thought, wow, first of all, Good for you. <laughs> right. Absolutely. All, Absolutely. That it takes to do that because most people give me the money. Yeah. Right? And and look, we all know it's not always about the money, right? What's your, you know, your integrity is worth mm -hmm. something. And and you have to value yourself enough to know that if if what they are doing doesn't align with you, then it's not something that you should be doing. Yeah. Absolutely. I mean, the reason you have core values is to provide a compass for how you're going to behave. Right. And if the other person, even though they may not know the core values, your, your core values are things that are inherently good. Yeah. And so if the person is going to violate them by doing something against them, which obviously means it's not good, it's a deal breaker. It's what he, right. it's what he was saying. Right. So I, right. I applaud him for that. Second yeah. one. Improvement. And as opinion. Tina would say, what does she say to us, Rob? constant improvement not constant. just improvement but constant improvement yeah yeah absolutely she always corrected me when i said that because she was right she's like well you can think you improve once like a couple of days you would do some improvement you're like okay done with that i'm as awesome as i've ever gonna be but no it's <laughs> constantly no day. we're constantly a work in progress i like the analogy you use rob like oh if i went to the gym today and worked out for a couple hours i improved myself but i don't have to go back ever right so i'm that good that would be awesome <laughs> right, right. wouldn't that be nice but alas no that is not possible because <laughs> i've tried it it doesn't work hey colleen <laughs> pennsylvania oh, colleen, in the house thank you for coming colleen pennsylvania woo -woo. pennsylvania michael payne's from new york michael payne woo woo yeah. And so, you know, we were getting we're getting some people. If you're not from New York, when you see a lot of New York, you know, Steph and I are out of the New York area. So, you know, lots of our peeps are going to show up here. But, you know, this is a national forum for people from all over the country inside Mass Networks and outside if they want to learn about this for their organization to come in, comment, let us highlight you, ask a question, give us a comment. I got one right here from from Rachel, our good friend, Rachel Sorota. The greatest compliment I ever got at the end of an introductory consultation was, I felt so heard talking to you. Ooh, that told me I was awesome. doing things in exact alignment with my values and culture. That's awesome, Rachel. And for those of you that don't know Rachel, Rachel's pretty awesome. Like, you, you know, she is uh, the uh, one of the kindest people I know. She'll go out of her way to help other people. Super sweet person. So if you haven't had a face-to-face -face with her, I highly recommend you do that. Yeah. Look at Michael says, it's actually okay to fire a client and relieve you of someone who may jeopardize your business. Love that. I go along with that. Me yeah. too. Look, just because somebody waves a stack of bills in front of you doesn't mean that you owe them every bit of your life. Right. Your respect right. or anything like that. Because people Absolutely. will take advantage. You know? Absolutely. I am Demi Gray. Oh, hey there, Demi's Demi. in the house. Hey, Woo Demi. Woo. hey Good Demi. To see you. Oh, hey. And for those of you that don't know, this is Demi Gray's book. It's called The X Factor. It is amazing. Yeah. And if you buy it from her personally, it is like um, her presentation. I won't give it away, but it is like amazing. Yeah. I'm just going to leave it at that. I, I so, remember when I started her book and, um, you know, it's, it's not a, a thick book. 
which is always good news for me because I'm not a great reader. <laughs> but that always tells me that what's in there is going to be really good because it's it's I think it's harder to write a shorter book because you've got less space to say um, important things. And when I got through chapter two, I was like, oh, my gosh, one of the greatest <laughs> books. And, and you're not because Demi is, is in Master Networks, but as an author, she has proven her her intelligence, her worth, her value in that. Chapter two is on leadership. And, and I love the topic of leadership. And so that chapter alone, I would have purchased the, the book just for that chapter. That's yeah. how good it was. But the rest of it was just it's just pure gold. So great yeah. job, Demi. Thank you for writing that book. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, Debbie. How you hey, doing? Debbie. Debbie Mann is in the house. <laughs> uh, Alina. Alina. I see Alina. Did I, what I, what, did I miss her? Above Debbie. Above Debbie. Oh, sorry. <laughs> hey, Alina. How and are she you? She just joined Master Networks last Woo week. Welcome, Alina. Woo woo. Good to you have you. You awesome. yeah, we're happy to have you. You certainly won't be disappointed for sure. This is an awesome organization. You're gonna love it. And I know Alina's not from New York. So Alina, tell us where you're from because we want everybody else to know where you're from. And and if you did come in and didn't tell us where you're from, a couple of you in the chat I see, I know you're from other states. Please tell us what state you're checking in from. We're trying to get more than 10 states tonight. Yes. And uh, no, nobody's guessing, by the way, Seth. Nobody's yeah, guessing. Yeah, yeah, you what guys, come about. on. What are, I want you to guess on what what we're what's our topic tonight? Yeah, okay. we're already getting through here some time, but I want to hear what you guys think on what our topic for tonight is going to be. Yeah, yeah. So come well, on, come on. So while we go through these core values, number three, a contribution, which is, you know, how what do you how are you giving? How are you giving back? You know, you're giving yeah. your time, you're giving of your your skills, your your thought. Um, are you always giving? And you know, I had a great um, a great face to face today. I was telling you with Crystal Barrow, uh, just a phenomenal story, a phenomenal person. And um, you know, we were talking about she and I. Come, we we have a lot of similarities in the way we approach business. It's just just give value. Don't worry about the money. You know, money's important, right? Gotta right. Paid, but then it will don't come. Worry about it. It'll come. It'll come. It, right. It, it, comes. it comes. It will. And, and it comes. And, you know, and contributions like that, too. You know, I learned a long time ago that um, the more you give, the more you get. Now, you don't give to get. <laughs> right. You, you get give because, because you, you want to give. Right. Right. Because you wanted to unselfishly. Right. Right. Absolutely. All right. And um, just to be considerate of time and accountability. Yeah, like, look, you guys, if you if you can't show up in a meeting, find someone to sub for you. That's so super important. And we say that to you because it's important for your business. Because like Tina will always tell us, how you do one thing is how you do everything. So if you're not making sure that you find a sub for yourself, then your business isn't being represented. And you could be missing opportunities because of that. Ah, exactly. And, you know, I could go off on this and I try to be nice with people in, in general. I don't like to offend people and I'm not trying to get on the soapbox, but accountability, you know, I wasn't always accountable. I wasn't a lot of things. Well, I wasn't a lot of good things at one time, but I learned accountability and everybody can learn how to be accountable. But this basically means that you, you're good for your word. And it doesn't mean that you're good for your word until something else happens in your life. Now, look, I know serious life events happen, and that's different. I'm not talking about that. I'm yeah. talking about you get a little busy over here. You got a little distraction over there. So you bail on your what you said you were going to do. Not cool. That's not no. accountability. Yeah. And what you're saying is don't count on me. Right. Be that person. Right. Be that person. Absolutely. Um, let's just. <laughs> Jersey counts five as states. five states. <laughs> <laughs> that's great. I love that, Debbie. That's good. <laughs> Alina, New Hampshire. New Hampshire. Woo -woo. New Hampshire. So, Alina, if you didn't hear me before, if you wouldn't mind as a new member, and it would be great to be building your region, if you would share this to your page so that other people can experience what we have here and potentially bring in some new members, we would really appreciate that. Yeah, absolutely. Gene says, giving is the best mood elevator. Amen to that. That's true. Me too. Me Always too. Always feel better. And so that, that begs the question then, is giving selfish? Hmm. Well, listen, I, 
I don't think it's because you're giving because you want to help someone, but that's not to say you don't get something out of it. Right. When people say, Oh, like, uh, uh, I'm now I can't, I'm, the word is escaping me, but look, it makes you feel a certain kind of way. And I got to tell you, Jean Terman is, is a huge giver, right? She'll help everybody. Anybody has an issue and she can help you with it. She will. She's done it. She's amazing. And she knows I love her. Yeah, so. <laughs> she is. And, you know, she is giving and, you know, and in her chapter, especially, and everybody feels that too. So back to how you make people feel, she's always making the experience good. She, she's giving people, you know, um, she's highlighting them. She's giving them a chance. She's giving them a voice. So, you know, as long as you're doing that, you're raising people up. That's the giving part that I love is just raising people up to realize yeah. their potential. Um, we have Alicia's in the house. Alicia, hey, Alicia. Woo -woo. Hello, Alicia. Have you. Awesome. Awesome. <laughs> and so we're getting, we got a couple of people who are asking us if they think they know what the, the topic is. I think uh, somebody may have it, but ooh. let's finish up here. Results. So results. So, you know, like it's so super easy, right? If you do those first four, the fifth one happens organically. Yeah. You know, that's like easy peasy, lemon squeezy. Yeah. Now they happen, but you still got to have a target and you still got to measure them. You got to measure Absolutely. what you the results. So don't just Absolutely. like, you know, throw a whole bunch of work out there and, and hope good stuff happens because you'll get some kind of result. Just may not be the result you were looking for. So and sure remember too, right? Results isn't always dollars. It isn't always cash. It isn't always an exchange of money, right? A lot of times those results are exchange of gold nuggets that you learn from someone else that helps you earn more money in your business. Yeah. You know, I love talking about ROI. And as soon yeah. as I talk about it, everybody goes, oh, yeah, uh, how much money did the <laughs> chapter do collectively? Or how much was your revenue ROI? No, no, no. I didn't say anything about dollars this time. I right. always talk about, you know, dollars. Okay, we could talk about dollars, but you know, what about the other stuff? What about right. what about the collaborations? What about the fact that you you um collaborate with somebody and they make you better? You yeah. know, Steph is always challenging how I'm looking at culture. She gives me another perspective because I would never think that I know it all. But you know, we talk a lot about it because she makes me think about things and go, I never thought about it from that perspective. And you do the same for me, right? Like we bounce off of each other. We're all here together to help each other, right? Absolutely. And look who's here. Oh, about Tina's helping each other. House. Woo -woo. Hey, Tina. Thank you for coming, Tina. Like Thanks the busiest woman here. in the region, she always makes time for us because I know she could be in about 15 other places at this time. So, so, it, so what does that say then? So, you know... We're all here for each other. Tina shows up. People show up all the time. So, you know what we're talking about tonight? So should we throw it up there now, Ron? Praise well. Hey, Donna. Yeah, go ahead. Let's throw up. I mean, hey, throw Donna. it up. Donna. <laughs> go ahead. Not throw up. It's all, <laughs> Yes, it's all about support, right? Support. How do we support each other? So, yes. look, I... It would be great if all of you can put something you did this week to support somebody else in the chat. Yeah. Yeah. Think about that for a second, because support, I think, is uh, something we don't talk about a lot of in depth. Now, right. I know people go, you know, I feel supported here. You know, um, I was talking today again uh, with somebody and the, the topic of, you know, being an entrepreneur, how lonely it is. You know, when you're driving the business, if you're not an entrepreneur, if you're a driver of a business, even though you're the company you represent, if you're the driver of the business, it can be very lonely. If you are trying to get business, if you're working towards it, it's a very lonely thing. So support becomes very important in that in that aspect. Hey, hey, Hugo, thank you for hey, coming. Hey, Hugo, woo woo. Brooklyn awesome. is in the house. Yeah, she's from the state of Brooklyn. <laughs> 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 yeah, but think about support. Think about the question that Steph asked. You know, how, what are you doing to support others or you, what are you doing that su supports? Cause everybody has a different way, right? I yeah, know that's, that's um, okay. There's no wrong way. So, yeah. so if you can just share with, with us, like maybe one thing you might've done for someone this week to support them. And it, and like I said, there's no wrong answer. It's just, 
if we share together, it makes us all better for it, right? Because then, hey, maybe somebody else has an idea that we didn't think of, right? And they can share that idea with us. And hey, maybe you can do that some other time. Yeah. And I love what, what Aviva said, and she's kind of demonstrating part of the culture formula, which is, you know, your behaviors behind the values. And she said, you know, so for relationships, what did she do? She connected two people that heard about each other, but never had a face to face. Yeah. So when, you, when you do that, by the way, just so everybody knows when you go, hey, by the way, have you met so and so? And they go, no. Oh, you need to talk to them. And you're putting kind of your endorsement on people and you connect them. And the reason you do that is because you know something good's going to come out of it. That yes. is an awesome thing to do, Aviva. Thank you for doing that. I had to learn that. I learned that from Tina, how to intentionally connect people who really need to meet. Yeah. Yeah. Tina taught me that too. And, you know, and here's what Rob and I both do now, just, just so maybe this will help some of you. We do it while we're in the face to face, we start the email so that as soon as we get off that face to face, we can make that connection because oftentimes, and it's to no one's fault, things can happen and get in the way. And then you just forget, you think you say, oh yeah, yeah, I'm going to do that later. And then it just doesn't get done. And it's not that you don't want to do it. That's not that you didn't have all the best intentions of doing it. It's just that the day got away from you. So if you at least start it, then you know, it's sitting there lingering and then you can just bing, 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 and you can shoot it out. Yeah, absolutely. Great little, great little tactic there for keeping on top of that, um, connecting people. So I love that. I love that. And, you know, support comes in many different ways. I know some people, my wife taught me this. She's really great at listening to people. And I was not a great listener quite a long time ago. I was learning how to talk, first of all, because I couldn't talk. I was was incapable of forming sentences, so shy. But um, I started to learn to talk. Then I realized actually talking is less important than listening. My wife taught me that. I, I would hear her have conversations, but the other person was obviously doing all the talking. She would listen. And they would feel so much better afterwards just because they felt heard. It's like Rachel was saying earlier. So support comes in different ways. Listening may be just one of them. Sometimes somebody needs somebody to hear them, maybe a shoulder to cry on or ears to listen. And like I say, always, right? Thank you, Sammy Vecchiola. We don't just do business here together, people. We do life here together. So like Rob just said, whether that's a shoulder to cry on or somebody, look, we all don't have the, you know, not every day is a great day. You just got to try to find something good in the day. But sometimes you just want to be able to vent and you just want someone to listen. You don't need them to fix it. You just need them to listen, right? (laughs) And as a guy, I'll tell you, you know, we're hardwired to fix things. That's what we do. So early Look, on, in I'm marriage, a fixer like, too, right? But I had to learn like, like, just sit back. Yeah, right. My wife would come to me with a problem and I'd be like, okay, here's what you want to do. <laughs> She'd be like, I don't want your solutions. I just want you to listen. I, that took a long time for me to process, by the way. Yeah. <laughs> if you're a guy out there and you, you know what I'm talking about, just, just, just tell me raise your back. hand, put a hand in the comments. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. And this this is getting around. This is a great way to support. So Willie says the same thing, helping to connect others, you know. Uh, and Mary he Ellen does that really similar. good. I got to tell you, Willie is one of the best inviters in the Carmel chapter. Oh. And he is constantly inviting people to our meeting. And he does connect a lot of people. So. Yeah. I mean, that's really important. And, and this is kind of the thing that's getting around. And And again, you don't see a lot of this outside of master networks people connecting people so mary ellen says refer to a few people she knows who can benefit from them you know yeah. it, it's it's really true networking when you start connecting people for whatever reason they may need right so put it put in the chat some of the other things you guys are doing we'd love love to hear that and um, hey i want to ask you guys so because it's getting around that time who do you think our special guest is tonight Throw some names in the chat. Let me see. Let's see who can who can guess who's the special guest of the evening. Yeah. And while we're while you're pondering that, I also just want to say that if you if you haven't already done so, like the Master Networks Inc. page. That's the that's where you're watching this on that page. So like it so you can get the notifications when things like this and other things, because you know, Steph and I aren't the only ones doing uh, lives. Uh, so you want to benefit from other members across the country. And, you know, Stephanie, we have 
friends and colleagues all across the country, many different states in master networks that we love supporting. And so they got good stuff that they're putting out too. So this is, again, you want to support, support the, the organization that's giving you so much. So if you love master networks, like we love it, I just happen to think it's one of the, the greatest organizations, a great organization of opportunity meant so much in my life. Go ahead and like the page so that you're notified when more stuff comes out. You know, I got to tell you, Rob, it's funny because we had a visitor the other day and I said, you know, what, what was your best takeaway? And they were like, this meeting is fun. Like yeah. we had a great time. This was fun. And I was like, yeah, okay. Like there's just not, they're used to it being very rigid, right. And very like business, business. And we're all about business, but we also like to have fun and we want to get to know each other not just in business, but I, I want to know, I want to care about what you care about. Yeah. Yeah. Kathleen Troy. I like to think I made fellow members feel acknowledged for their effort. Yes. She, she does do that. Recognition. Yes, Kathleen. I love that because I strongly believe if, if somebody does something that they're not even expected to do, recognition, acknowledgement, thank you, more, two most important words in the world that I, I overuse it proudly. And that's thank you. Thank yeah. people for what they do and be specific. Try not to just say, Hey, you're awesome. Thanks. Good job. Like if it's something specific, name that thing, you know, I really want to thank you for showing up early and helping me think through this a little bit. Like, you no, know, I, I, I gotta tell you. So last night, um, we had a mixer after our meeting, right? And Keisha through prepared, get, got this whole thing together. And her it was all geared on what app helps you in your business. And oh my God, it was so cool. We had such a good time. She did such a great job. And to find out the apps that other people are using and we compiled like this list of apps that could really help you in your business. It was awesome. All right. Well, nobody's guessing. Come on, guess who's, who's coming guessing? on. We're we're running out of time. Guess tonight. We're gonna so we're have gonna to have bring to... this person on soon. You've got ten seconds, everybody. Put in the chat. You got ten seconds to guess who the surprise guest is. Uh, the the hint is it's somebody in the audience. Guess who it is, and see if you will win. The... And they might be known by another name. How about that? <laughs> It's yeah. someone in the you audience seconds. You got that five might seconds be known left. by I another type name. In there. Type in whoever you think it is. <laughs> Again, come on, come on, come on. Who's going to get it? Who's going to get it? <laughs> well, he says Clint Eastwood. I guess he's not even going to venture, I guess. <laughs> Aviva oh, saying Aviva Demi. Says Demi. Demi says, uh, lol. I don't know who that is. <laughs> Kathleen doesn't know what's going on. So guess who the surprise <laughs> guest is? <laughs> we have Demi. We have Larry. <laughs> We have all Blackmon, right. <laughs> Larry Blackmon. Well, he was all on, good guesses. He was on a while. All ago. good guesses. He yeah, he, he was already on. Now. We're we're gonna bring this person on. It. <laughs> Welcome <laughs> to Build It Through Culture Live. Our surprise guest, Mr. Willie Tolbert. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! <Thank you. laughs> <laughs> so sad guy, the shortest <laughs> man, also known as Mr. The Willie. The guy Tolbert. with the bow tie. How are you? Good to see you, Willie. Thank you for coming. Oh, thank, thank you for the having guy me. With the bow tie. <laughs> he doesn't even want to be known by Willie, just the guy with the bow tie, because he says it all. I call him the sharp dressed man. And then he started calling himself the bow tie guy. And I'm like, the bow tie guy and the sharp dressed man. So I just say the whole kit and caboodle. <laughs> Glad to be here. Well, thank you for coming. As you know, Willie, we're, we're talking about support. And, um, you know, we wanted to be able to have you come on and you know, we're going to give you most of the time here to hear, you know, what are your views on support? What does it mean to you? How have you done it? How people supported you? We want to get your perspective. Well, thank you both, Rob and uh, Stephanie, for what you all do for Master Networks. This, to me, is support because how many persons would, they're busy as it is and they have their own professional, they have their families, but to take time out to make certain that a new person, matter of fact, January marked my one year anniversary with Master Networks. Woo -woo! Awesome. Congratulations. And, and what has kept me here was one, the relationship. 
I was been a part of other uh, events. I won't mention their name because they're not paying me for advertisement. But um, I will say that um, when I came to Master Networks to my friend Phil Ritaliano, he's the guy that introduced me to Master Networks. That's right, the TTI guy, you know, they got his franchise. <laughs> and so with that, I mean, I came one night, Carmel chapter, you, who can leave Miss Stephanie Belfort? I mean, truly, who can leave her? And then I met so many other wonderful people. And then you, Rob, I mean, just to know that here it is, somebody who's like in this forest, where do I go? What turns should I make? Who should I talk to? Who, you know, who's there? You know, and then I come from a servant's heart because I want to know who can I help now? Yeah. 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 Well, thank you. We're, we're, we're happy you came. Like, you have definitely at least one fan. Yeah. I know this is your wife, but your biggest <laughs> fan. You're sure. here. Well, you know, we, you got plenty the of fans. The check is in the mail. The well, check is in the mail. The check is in the mail. Here's nah, all the love. You don't have to Willie. pay anybody. Everybody loves you, Willie. There isn't one person I know that doesn't love Willie. He is an amazing connector. He does come from a servant heart. He is a servant leader, and we so appreciate you, Willie. Yeah. Yeah. Well, I'm honored. I'm honored. And I was listening to some of the comments and, that you both were sharing and then some that was being put in the comments section about, uh, you know, like Aviva helping somebody connect in business. It's like a, a natural for me. I could be talking to someone and two or three people will come to my mind to say, oh, yeah, I'm a connector. Do you know this person? Do you know this person? You know, and then I like to invite people to the environment because I can say a lot because I'm a member, but when I invite someone and then they get the experience, they're like, whoa, you know, and Steph, you know, in our chapter, we have people who come two and three times because they enjoy it. And that's what it's all about. And it's not about ego tripping. It's not about who gets the credit, but it's about, listen, let them know is food on the table, come and eat. Yeah, there you go. I love that analogy. I love that. And, and Willie, you know, and we usually get like always positive feedback on, on the energy, right? Like you, you share, you know, when, when you invite people, how do they feel? What is the feedback that they give you after they've experienced the meeting? They're hoping their internet does not drop. Because, <laughs> <laughs> you know, when, when they have the opportunity to want to hear about the other professionals that's in the room and then as a guest, to get extra time to talk about who they are, what they do, and on top of that, to put their information in the chat and to save the chat and go home with another 15, 20, 25, 30, going five, 40, 50, yep, so 50, that's a three, two, two. Yep, what am I saying? They're getting extra, they're expanding their business through exterior networking that they didn't have to pay for. Yeah, I love that. And you know, we in Master Networks, you know, when I got involved in leadership, you know, one of the, Tina has taught me so much. I'm always talking about her because she she really taught me a lot and in a very indirect way. And one of the things she taught me was about how we support the members. And, you know, it's forty nine ninety five a month and you get membership in a chapter and you get access to the hub, which is great. So there's some resources back there and everybody gets the same thing. But, you know, as a region, as in the tri-state region, we're always looking to support further. So what else can we do to support the members to what? We just want to help people win, you know, mm -hmm. and, and part of that support is doing whatever we can. Yeah. Well, well, that's definitely evident. I mean, without saying nobody's pressing your arm backwards to, you know, squeeze you, pressure you. But it's always the opportunity, the environment is we're here for you, like. Steph, you always say, we don't just do business, we do life. And these are phrases that we pick up, we learn, you know, like Rob, like everybody talks about how Rob just accelerated their business. I'm like, I'm trying to get an appointment with Rob. Everybody, <laughs> with a, everybody taking this time, save space for me. <laughs> but no, that's what we get. That's the joy. And then when we go into the breakout rooms, 
I don't know if you guys like have speakers in there where you're listening. All right, break it down. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 1, 3, 2, 1. Let them go now. We said no. But that's what it's all about, to make us thirsty that we want to do a face-to-face. Yeah, wow. that is. That is the whole point of that, right? And and the, and the support, you know, it is, we are, we just... I, and I say it all the time, right? Just spread love at the end of every meeting. I say, just go out there and spread love to people, right? Because that'll all just come back to you. And to be able to share that with so many amazing people, you know, Willie, you know, I, I'm I'm so blessed that Phil brought you in because I adore you. I, there, you know, there's no words. Willie is the MC of the Carmel chapter and everybody gets pumped up after he announces leadership in the chapter. It's, it's like you see all these faces and everybody's like, Oh my God, this is like the place to be. <laughs> well, you know, you all set the stage a and I'm an action movie guy. And I like watching the movies where they have the, um, the vault and you have to know the code to open the vault. You guys at master networks, all the chapters, for the most part, that I've been to have the DNA, the combination to make a person feel special. Uh, mm. Thank you for saying that. You know, part, part of what you said before is, you know, um, when we're supporting people, you know, like, like Steph says, you know, you come in innately. So inherently you have this gift of this voice, which everybody just is attracted to. So it's one of, one of your many gifts, I'm sure. And to be able to take that. So Steph is smart and says, hey, you know, let's let's give Willie a platform where he can take one of his gifts. Right. And it gives it raises you up. It supports you to be able to what? Then talk about be able to um, have people get interested in what you do, you know, for your work, for your business and how you can add value to others. So the support is is it's like a big circle. It, it always comes back around when you support somebody. They'll then support you in return. It's just a natural cycle. And then yeah. Willie was the announcer at the golf outing too, right? So I was like, oh, we need to let him be the announcer for the golf outing because he has like the voice, right? He's got the radio voice. And everybody loved it, right? Because it's like, oh, Willie, Willie, you know? No, I appreciate it. But you know, I'm the oldest of eight. And my father was from Alabama, mother was from Georgia. So that's Southern roots. We were taught the principles of sowing seeds. When you plant enough seeds, sooner or later, you're going to reap a harvest. So whatever I'm able to do for the chapter, for the region, I'm here to help out, except for being leadership. But, um, you know, <laughs> but, but you know, I get joy in being a support. I get joy in being in the background. I've met so many wonderful people that I'm like, wow, do we have to end tonight, this morning, this afternoon? You know, can I take you all home with me? No. <laughs> Yeah, I don't know if your wife would like that very much. Who are these people you're bringing home every night? Come on. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> yes. yes. But, you know, well, so supporting mm -hmm. what we do um, as business owners is always really important. And so we we're talking about different forms of support. So maybe tell us some ways that you've been supported, you know, maybe outside of Master Networks and what ways others have supported you. Yeah. Well, one is being a connector and, and I'm blessed to enjoy that role or you know, that connotation is when you're looking to connect people, it's, it's amazing. I view it this way, Rob, when you refer someone, they don't see who's in front of them. They see who sent them. And so I find it very important to, if someone introduces me to someone, I want to represent Rob. I want to represent Stephanie. I want to represent Patricia or Michael. When I send someone, I want, I know they're going to represent me. No, they're not going to be Willie Tarbert. No, they're not going to be Rob. No, they're not going to be Stephanie. But my father always said this to the eight of us. He said, be yourself, but be your best self. Mm. Wow. That's awesome. That is. 
the fact that you just said something profound as in um, who sent you speaks yeah. a lot, right? Because you want to acknowledge every person in the process, in the chain, because, you know, uh, a house on stilts isn't supported by one stilt. Mm -hmm. You know, a stool isn't held up by two legs. <laughs> so there's a support team involved. And I think that aspect of team comes into play a lot of times and people don't acknowledge it or think about the team that's behind that, the people that came together to make something happen. And I remember um, when I was at the Connect last year, Master Network's annual conference, and Chaz Wilson, a founder from Stage, started thanking the hotel staff because he said, you know, without their support, we can't do what we do up here in giving value to you. And you know what? I, I had learned that some time ago, too. And I really appreciate that he said that because nobody is unimportant in getting something big done. Right? Everybody that plays a role in getting it done is, is as important as any other person playing a role. Right. Yeah. Yeah. Everybody. Yeah. Everybody's an integral part of it. And so <laughs> the acknowledgement part comes in there. Yes. To make sure that, you know, again, back to how you make people feel. If somebody had a, a, a piece in something, no matter how small, I don't care if it was the person who unlocked the door to the meeting room. Well, if that person didn't come along, we can't have a meeting, you know, if you're in person. Yes. So yes. it's important that you, you acknowledge people for their support because honestly, and you know, everybody knows on your own, you really can't get a lot of great things done. Yes. yes. In a team, we can, we can get so much done. Yes. And not just get it done, but we can have fun doing it. Doing it alone is not fun. Yes. Yeah. No, no. And, and you know, I think about this, uh, Rob and Stephanie, is as an entrepreneur, as a business owner, everybody in the world may not like you or love you, but the right people in the world will. That's right. That's awesome. That's awesome. So much wisdom. And, and I, I like that because I think a lot of us start out, we want everybody to like us. We put this high, high value on like. And, you know, the older I got to realize it doesn't really matter if people yeah. really like you. You know, my dad taught me, um, you know, you want, res you want respect. You want to earn people's respect. And sometimes that means you're not going to be liked by everybody. But I, what I did find that was along the way, there were people who didn't like me, but they did respect me. And I was okay with that. Yes. Yeah. I always, I always, I've always said that, like, look, I'm, for those of you that know me, you know, I'm honest. I'm brutally honest sometimes. Mm -hmm. Right. And some people are put off by that and that's okay. Yeah. Yeah. But they'll always know that I'm going to give them an honest answer. Yes. Right. So that's okay. I'm yeah. okay with that. Yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm sometimes I'm a little bit, um, and, and as nice as I can, I'm blunt with some of my clients because I'm here to support you and help you. So if I have to give you some hard truth, I'm going to, and I'll do it. I'll deliver it nicely, but I won't back down. And in master networks as, as a director, helping people to grow their chapters and, and supporting them that way. Sometimes I got to say things that people don't really like, but my, but you, but like you said, well, like the, the, the right people will like you for what you're doing. And some of the times it's people who maybe they're not the right people. They'll, they'll never agree with you. They'll never like you. It doesn't really matter. Yeah. If you're the right person in the right place doing the right thing, mm -hmm. then the right people will support you. Yes. Yes, definitely. And Debbie says, Debbie goes, blunt or honest? Well, well sometimes it's a little of both, Debbie. Little of both. To be honest, right? <laughs> if I'm being honest, sometimes it's both. And hey, sometimes I know myself. Sometimes I got to work on my delivery isn't always the best, right? So I'm a work in progress and I own it. And I'll say, I'm, I keep working on some of those pieces and parts. Yeah. Yeah. You know, I'm not perfect. <laughs> Absolutely. None of us are, right, Willie? Yes. Yes. No, we're all working on it. Yes. <laughs> we're, we're actually at this, the 10 minute mark before the hour. We like to start on time and end on time. So we're going to sign up. But before we do, Willie, maybe some parting comments about support, uh, something you want to get out there. Maybe, you know, tell us a little bit about, you know, what you do for work, too, because I don't know. Yeah, we that. didn't hear that. So we want to hear that. 
Well, you know, I appreciate this opportunity to be here. And that's what happens a lot of times when I'm in meetings, I like to spend most of the time learning about that individual because that helps me know ways I may can support that person and what I do. And that's why I kind of have the brand of the guy with the bow tie, because when you think of a bow tie, you have to tie it certain ways. And so the services that we're able to provide, we say it this way, we realize that building your business is your business, but helping you protect it is our business. So we like to say to learn more about what we do, let's schedule a face-to-face -face because there's nothing like being in the place with my face. <laughs> Have a good one. Thank you so much for that. Oh, Willie, you're awesome. Mike, <laughs> Thank drop. you, Willie. Thank you for coming. Appreciate <laughs> it. Um, thank you for coming on so much. Appreciate your perspective. A lot of wisdom there. So I'm sure a lot of people got a lot of value out of that. So again, if you want to visit Willie, you can go to Steph's Carmel chapter. And uh, that's at five o'clock, five o'clock on Wednesdays. Five o'clock Eastern on you Wednesday. You can hear him do his famous announcements, putting the voice to work but also you can um, connect with him there and do a face-to-face -face and get to know the guy with the bow tie. Thank you, Willie. The guy with the bow <laughs> tie and a huge heart. Thanks, Willie. Yeah. That was awesome. <laughs> that was great. So much wisdom there, you know, and I love when we get people with, with wisdom. Yeah. Come on here. Cause you know, there's something, you know, wisdom comes from experience. It comes from making lots of mistakes it's sometimes it's it's passed down over time and then realized in our own lives. So I appreciated a couple of things he said. And then the life. passed down over generations, right? My dad used to say, I love to hear those kinds of things because, you know, some of them are such, it's such great wisdom, right? And, and you yeah. keep, and that when your parent and, you know, when we were kids, of course, we would be making fun of them and go, yeah, 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 whatever. Right. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Right. We all did that. Like, OK. Uh huh. Yeah. I got this. I know right. everything I'm now. Good. I'm 22. I'm right. I've lived a life at 22. I know it all. I know there's nothing that you can tell me that I don't know. Yeah. Right? You know, I remember this is there was a song, you know, in my metal days many years ago. Uh, this band Br Judas Priest had a song that said, "You don't have to be old to be wise." Yeah. And, but and, and as a 16 year old, I'm like, "Yeah, that's right. You don't." <laughs> I don't know if that's true. <laughs> I don't think you live long enough to really get the wisdom out of life. That is, that I think you need that life experience to have the wisdom because you can possess wisdom, maybe the saying, but you don't really understand it until you've been through it. Right. Right. I agree. I agree. Yeah. And so well, we're, we're going to be wrapping up here. So you get some thank yous. I'm sure you do. Yeah. Stuff, right? I mean, look, listen, thank you to Renee Pride, right? Renee Pride was the one who Rob and I were intending on doing this in our region. And she said, hey, could could you do this on the ink page? And we were like, uh, yeah, hello. Of course, we would love to do that. So I want to thank Renee Pride for the opportunity. And of course, Thank Chaz Wilson for starting this whole thing, right? Yeah. And yep. of course, Tina Campbell, who started the whole New York, Connecticut region. Like, you know, she has been such a mentor to us and we have learned so much from her. You know, Tina, you're awesome. Um, we are all so blessed. And, and, you know, oh, we got to play the song again, Rob. We got to play that song. We got a couple of minutes left. We, oh, okay. Let's, let's do this. Let's do this. If you were here in the beginning and you heard the song that Steph and I were playing, what do you think I it want was? You to put it in the chat. So now we'll give you credit if you get just the name or just the artist. But if you get both, you get you get major applause. <laughs> what yeah, that yeah. Was. We'll we'll I'll jump up and down even if you get both. No, Michael, it wasn't. You got another <clears throat> thing coming. <laughs> <laughs> I know he was talking about Judas Priest, so that's another one of their songs. So yeah, that, that is another song. one of their songs, and it's a good one. <laughs> yeah, but if you know what that song was by any chance, um, we want you to put it in the chat absolutely right now. And you know, Steph always talks about you know that famous saying, "We don't just do business together; we do life together," and it really kind of epitomizes what we're doing here because when we talk about support. Um, I, I had a face to face one time and somebody said, you know, um, I heard you say that you got everything you were looking for out of master networks. What did you mean by that? And I was like, like this number, 
that was the only person that ever asked me that. Like, what did you mean? Like, what did you get? So like, she wasn't challenging me necessarily, but she wanted to know. And I said, yeah. well, I'm glad you asked. You know, I got, you know, well, let's say relationship. I got friendships. I would say friendships last because it seems kind of people like, well, I didn't get in this for friendships, man. I got my friends. It's like, I wasn't looking right, for right, friends right. either. It just yeah, I, I wasn't way. either. I got a ton of friends, right? Like I, 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 when I came into this, it was like, it was, I was coming in here for business to make business connections. Yeah. Yeah. Like most of us, like most of us. But then what did I get? I got to do a workshop and that's something I wanted. I got speaking engagements. I got collaborations. You know, this is one of them. Steph and I doing this, which we love. Um, we do this. We, we found each other in Master Networks and, you know, we realized we actually had this um, synergy in talking about culture where we would be able to talk nonstop for an hour about this, which was the, <laughs> you know, impetus for this show. You know, hey, let's just talk <laughs> on a live and tell right. everybody about this. You know, so right. collaborations came out of and, it. And you know what? You guys are really what make this so much fun for Rob and I, right? Don't yeah. get me wrong. Rob and I can talk culture all day long, but it's, it's the banter that goes on in the chat, in the comments that, yeah. that make this what it is, right? Because it's not just Rob and I, it's Rob and I and all of you amazing people that, that put these great comments in the chat. And look, if you ever, if you guys ever have a question or that, that you want to ask, ask away that's what we're here for so yeah. oh look at debbie man <laughs> i was looking for a hiking group that true? Are you really looking for a hiking group <laughs> you know deb that's really funny because rachel sirota and i were talking the other day about getting a whole group of us together to go on a hike this you know when the weather gets warm not any crazy hike but like a nice hike and whoever wants to participate can do that yeah that'd be great that'd be great uh i don't know if tina's saying I was playing culture club, <laughs> the song, <laughs> or if she's just calling it like famously, she calls us the culture club because when right, the three of us get right. together to talk about it for, you know, so, so those, those of you who don't know, uh, Tina is the, uh, national, the director of the national culture and retention, uh, for master networks. And Steph and I are honored to be a part of that board with her or that, um, that team to be able to further the culture cause. So she called us the culture club and <laughs> just, I always think about boy George. It's just so funny. <laughs> so, all right. So we're, so we're going to wrap it up here. Um, hashtag network for life. You know, I always look at this like you do, you network for life. So there's that verb, you're networking for life, you network for life. But also I believe that what you build here becomes your network for life because I can't imagine a greater bunch of uh, tight bonds and connections that you can build outside of this. I just don't see it happen. It happens to be a great community. So we're going to agree that song, Steph, and we're going to take us out with some final thoughts. Play that song. Hey, guys, it's right. always, always such a great night when we have this time with you all. So thank you for taking time out of your evening to spend it with us. We really appreciate you. Um, you know, spread love wherever you go. Right? You know, just keep remembering it's always about how you make other people feel and care about what they care about. Always. Always. I don't think anybody's going to get this song. Somebody said, I think it's country. I said, yeah, well, it's because I told you it's country. It's not culture club. It's not Judas Free. So real quick, because we're... We got less than a minute left, so I'll give you a little bit of time if you want to put it in there real quick. Venture a guess. Michael Payne says Tim McGraw. I think that's a pretty good guess. Pretty good guess. Is it right? Well, we don't know. That man says just play some sticks next time. I guess she <laughs> likes sticks, so she'll know she'll get it. Yeah, Rob sticks. is a big country fan, so. I love it. I love, I love country. Um, and Rob says, you always think about Boy George. <laughs> <laughs> Only when they hear Culture Club, Rob. I'm not dreaming about Boy George. So, all right, Tina. Oh, oh. You've got, these are my people. Who is it, Tina? Tina's a country music fan, too. Yeah, so she's is a it? big country music fan. It? So, Veronica, these are my people. You fan. guys are our people, right? These are all my right, people. Here we go. We're going to give it to you. It's Rodney Atkins. Woo awesome. Look him up. He's got some great, great All right, songs. So we're going to give you applause, so. Tina, but I'm not jumping up and down because you didn't get the... <laughs> Way to go, everybody. And we are at 8 o'clock. I want to thank you all for coming. We enjoyed talking with you and bantering with you. 
We hope you enjoyed this. We hope you got something out of it. I want to thank Willie Tolbert again for coming on and, and showing us what support means to him. Um, thank you all for supporting us in this. And we are going to be back. Next episode is March 10th, episode number 10. March 10th, 10, 2022. 10. Two weeks. Bookmark it. Put it in your calendar. We'll be back to talk to you. Everybody have a great night. Have a great night. Spread love wherever you go. Thank you, Willie.